I finally received my Onefinity Journeyman X50. I ordered the 14 watt laser. Uh, there's my 2.2 watt sp uh, kilowatt spindle and my variable frequency drive. Uh, going over for more supplies, the table I'm building is going to have one inch plywood and there's the waste board on top uh, that'll be on top. Um, here's the table. I used 8020 uh, extruded aluminum. Uh, very rigid, especially when you put the corner braces in. It's kind of a mix of corner braces. Um, 72 inches, 6 foot uh, long or wide. And checking to confirm both are the same. Maybe a little bit different. Also, uh, very critical to be square just for um, making sure it's true and when you put the wood on it. So right there, a little over 88 and an eighth. And then the other corner to corner, let's see, I'm pretty sure it was pretty close at 88 and a little over an eighth. So pretty square. Um, good basis to start with. Um, and I had it on rollers. It was important to have our rollers. Um, there I'm adding the tabs that will be used to uh, bottom mount the one inch plywood. Uh, you can see multiple locations for, uh, again, uh, rigidity. I was gonna, I think I used quarter inch lag bolts to bring it down. Uh, I started drilling everything out and uh, realized that it needed one inch, but it was a little too wide for my woodpecker wood drill and a one inch Forstner bit. It's all hooked up. <clears throat> um, got everything going. Figured that out. I should have read instructions on this USB C going into panel with a lightning bolt. This one into the back. This one powered. Four cables. One, two, three, four. Here, here. Peter, here, get the extra cable. Doesn't take long much to get that tight. You can see the uh, screen is mounted, although not very rigid. Check to make sure it's tight. Um, nothing's happened to it, but not very rigid. I'll look at uh, making that a little bit more of uh, a solid setup. Uh, but in this video, I just wanted to show that I was able to get the table together. The machine up and running. Uh, I did zero it. You can see the X and Y moving there as well as the Z moving there. Uh, this is the first in a series of videos of me getting the uh, Journey X50 up and running. Thanks for watching.